All right, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today, as you can see, I'm in a J class, and today we are at Donald's, and we are visiting the Donald Club Heritage Train Park. And we are going to have a look at the preserved rolling stock that they have here, take a look at their J class locomotive, have a bit of a walk around, and enjoy this beautiful park with our Victorian Railways preserved history. Let's get into the video. Roll the intro. <laughs> We made it to the Lions Club Heritage Train Park after a four hour drive, but let's have a walk around now and see what's here. So the first thing I'm seeing is an old V-Line Louvre van and it's actually a bathroom. It's pretty cool, they've done it really well. Like a middle bit here. VLCX 622U. This is just the back of it. And this is probably the old coupler that was on it. Just sitting behind the van to take it off to get it in the ground properly. Next to that is an old sand wagon and a buffet car named Taggarty. Sand wagon 235. Looks really cool. And these little things here uh, is probably what you would turn and uh, to dispense the sand, I assume. It's an underneath shot. Just back here is like a locomotive pit. Pretty small pit, but yeah, would have done the job. Uh, have a look underneath any rolling stock or locomotives to do some maintenance work on here. And the line continues out that way. And this is a shot of the top of the wagon. And this is the buffet car, first class. A couple of the windows have been smashed, but they have been looked after and they've had the glass replaced, which is good keeps people out uh, this window and the other window to enter the carriage that side were both smashed and inside would be cool to see um, there's a lot of pictures that I can see probably of old old Victorian railways photos which would have been cool to see that has definitely seen better days so next to the buffet car we have a J class J524 This J-Class looks really good and it has a lot of the parts that are usually taken off from plinth locomotives. Such as these systems along here, correct me if I'm wrong, I think that's the dynamo uh, to supply power to the headlamp. And even some of these steam pipes, uh, a lot of, I'm pretty sure a lot of these have been removed from the other J-Classes. I don't remember, recall seeing these on the one at Nuji either. But of course, the locomotives and the rolling stock that are here are very well looked after which is a great thing for us Victorian Railways fans to keep our history stored and preserved well. And the J has a foot plate here to get up inside and have a look at the cab. Very cool. That lever still works. Wonder if the regulator will turn. Oh, it does. There you go, full throttle. It looks really authentic in here, like very much like how it would have back in the day. Very cool in here. Looking back now, that's the tender. And this was a coal burner. The oil burners had a big tank here like the one at Nuji. So yeah, pretty cool. 
And for anybody wondering, we still have a few preserved J's that are still running to this day, like 515, which is currently undergoing restoration at Seymour, and 549, which is at the Castle Main Goldfields Railway. Here's some information about the J-Class on the barbecue shed next to the locomotive. And yeah, barbecue shed. Great spot for a barbecue if you ask me. The uh, pin will still move and the knuckle still moves. God, very heavy. But yeah, it still does move. As for the front coupler, it's been disconnected from the actual knuckle itself. So the bar turns freely and the pin is just sitting freely here. And you've got this as well, free hanging. It's pretty cool. They've got a lot of stuff on this locomotive. It's really nice to see. Like even the Westinghouse brake system still being on the locomotive, pretty cool. Like this is a very complete J class. In the next undercover spot, you've actually got one of these like rail trolleys where you push and pull the lever to get the trolley moving. That's pretty cool to see. And popping out of here, you've got a Victorian Railways Louvre van, VLX Louvre van. And there's a ramp there uh, for anyone with a disability to get up and have a look as well. So pretty cool. This park is definitely well catered for everybody. Some information on the Louvre van if you want to have a read. Let's walk up the stairs. Locked so nobody can get in, but pretty cool to see. And this one is preserved really, really well. Looks really good. Even on the J, the air, the air hose was still on it. They have kept a lot of parts on these rolling stock and locomotives, kept, keeping it very original. It's great to see. This is a view of the Liver van on the other side, which is next to the Mujura line, which is freight only as there are no passenger services, which was another line which had the passenger services stopped in 93. Another wooden buffer behind the van. Now on the other side of the rail line, we have a bunch of rolling stock to get a good look at. Just down there is Donald Station and an old silo which is no longer in use. Fair bit of rolling stock out here. I believe this was a cattle wagon. I recently got a model of this too. Here's the other side of it next to an old rail signal, a semaphore signal. The shot of the inside. So there's two floors. They unloaded and unloaded the sheep uh, on ramps going to the top and the bottom floor on the goods platforms. I wonder if this is able to slide over. Now, very still. Need some WD-40. Now this is an old Caltex oil tanker and pretty cool to see the old Caltex logo. Very cool. The next wagon is a domestic water wagon. If you pause the screen and read that information board, it says there were only 10 of these constructed for the Victorian Railways, and these were constructed and made to be at the back of oil burning steam locomotives, which is pretty cool. The next one is your classic GY wagon. So you have plenty of these you will see around at Heritage Railways. Next to the GY is a Weybridge test truck.
So that's pretty cool. And next to that is an explosives van. That is a P-Class explosives van. Now, if you see any photos of the P-Class vans uh, moving along the rail line, you usually see them in between two flatbeds. And the reason why is because they were obviously dangerous because they're explosives vans. So as a precautionary, they would have two flatbeds on either side of the P-Class between the next carriage or the next wagon for safety. Now, funny story. I was trying to buy a P-Class explosives van and actually put it in the backyard. But obviously there was a lot of complications. I was looking into the history of them whether they had asbestos or not. I just ultimately ended up not doing it, even though we were very, very close to doing it. But yeah, that would have been great to have in the backyard. And the best thing was it would have fit. So a bit of a shame, but oh well, we move. Yeah, and all the P-classes were painted in a very, very bright red to signify danger. Next to that is another sheep wagon and this is the information about the sheep wagon as there wasn't one in front of the other one next to that is a bogey guards van number 12 ca looking cool This one's actually open, so let's go in and have a look. All right. A bit crunchy in here. Lots of rubbish. Yeah, being open, I'm guessing everybody would be coming in here and yeah, throwing away shit or whatever, leaving their rubbish here. The other side. I wonder if these doors slide open. Nah, it's pretty stuck. It smells pretty bad in there because there's a lot of droppings in there. Speaking of droppings, here's the toilet. Great view. <laughs> That's interesting. I didn't think, or did, I didn't know that wagons like this had like doors that were in two parts. Same thing on this side. That's really cool. These are the different light switches inside. Still works, not bad. Bit of a skylight up here, just above those switches. And I'm really not sure what this is for, but this is going straight out to the roof. Maybe for cigarettes or smoking or something, I don't know. But yeah, anyways, let's keep moving. This is just the other side of the van. Someone's pulled off the, the cover of the motor there. Just next to this line, there's another short line of some other rolling stock. K39 Timber Underframe. So that was a steel grain hopper. Next to that is a ZL6 Wheel Underframe. And on top of it is actually a railway uh, crossing beam. Now there's another flat wagon on this side as well, and this is a K44 flat wagon. So I've converted from that. Next to that are also a couple of bogies, just chilling. And a GY wagon with an original Victorian Railways tarp on the top. That's a really cool thing to see. Here's some information about the GY wagon. That's so cool. Next to that is like a, it's a rail crane. That's interesting. It's actually mounted sideways. So the bogey's facing this way, but the crane is mounted that way. It's a non-rotational crane. So this is the only way that it could face by the looks of things.
Also, all these wagons on this side and this side are all coupled up together, even with the air brake. So, just keeping it authentic. All right, that was the Lions Club Heritage Train Park in Don. If you want to come up to this area and check it out, it was definitely worth it. If you liked the video, give us a like, subscribe, and comment below on what other videos you want to see me do on the channel. We'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care and peace. Thank <laughs> you.